A move straight out of a video game, the impossible, something that we all thought would never be done on a NASCAR track, Ross Chastain did it. And for the second week in a row, Christopher Bell wins him way into the next round of the playoffs. We have it all to talk about when we video resumes. Welcome back to another video. My name is Cameron Simpson and happy Halloween to everyone out there. Hopefully you have a spooky night uh, and a very safe one as well. Uh, that is all that for that. Uh, that's an interesting little spiel there. Anyway, welcome into the video. So today we're talking about NASCAR at Martinsville, the last race before the championship four finale next weekend. And let me just tell you, Martinsville was such a big disappointment in the spring. I think we all can agree that the race was pretty bland. It was not very entertaining, but the race in the fall was absolutely thoroughly entertaining and bizarre. It was absolutely crazy, the finish that we saw at today's race. Ross Chastain, a driver who was battling with Denny Hamlin for most of the race, uh, tore, throughout this race they were battling each other neck and neck, tail to tail, for that final fourth playoff position. Now, Denny Hamlin dominated most of this race. He won both stages. He looked like he was going to make it in. At the end of that race, he had four-point lead on the last lap of the race. He had four cars. Rosh Hussain somehow needed to pass four, four cars because Rosh Hussain did have the tiebreaker to win this race. He needed four cars. And, I mean, Rosh Hussain did what I think most of us thought no driver could ever do. You all play NASCAR video games, I'm sure. I'm sure you drove in really deep and the car ma magically stuck. Ross Chastain drove his car, full throttle, fifth gear, into the final turn to pass all the cars he needed. He even passed Denny Hamlin to make it into the championship four. Now, there are two sides to the story. One... This brings different life into NASCAR. Drivers have not been willing to do things like this forever. This is a once-in-a-generation move. I don't think we will ever see a driver go into turn four, barrel his car, and to sacrifice himself, his car, his equipment, everything, just to make it into the next one. Plus, he didn't even know if the move was going to work. It also brings the side of, what does this do for NASCAR? On a season that has been unlike any other this season in NASCAR, does this just make NASCAR look more like a clownery? Or does this make NASCAR look better? There's really two sides of this. And for me, I'm kind of stuck dead in the middle. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was watching so many different things in those final few laps. I couldn't believe my eyes what just happened when Ross Chastain drove it in. Just to remind you, Ross Chastain gets the upper hand against Denny Hamlin as well. That's a side note as well. But I mean... Just the fact that he drives it in like that and he passes all these cars, to me, it's insane. It's, it, it, it's absolutely incredible, the fact that he was able to do that. Nevertheless, I was shocked out of my mind. But, I mean, what, this puts NASCAR in a very weird position. I was like, what do you think the NASCAR executives are going to think about this one? The people who are in charge of competition. I don't know. Ross Chastain has brought a lot, a lot of controversy and conversation into NASCAR this season. He is a, the most interesting NASCAR driver in the garage, by far. And I gotta say, this move was incredible. The fact that he even thought to do something like this. I don't think he will ever do something like this again. I don't think we'll ever see another driver try to do something like this again. But the fact that it was even in consideration is crazy to me that a driver would put themselves on the line to make it into Championship 4. 
and this this new style of racing has proven these new generation of drivers they don't care safety isn't in a conversation anymore these new generation of drivers just care to win and they trust that they will be safe is that dangerous maybe is it entertaining but what cost? And that's my hot take. I get it. We are all obsessed with this move, this incredibly way to finish the race. The fact that Ross Chastain was ever able to do this and how he was able to do that, the impossible made possible, like it's incredible. But at what extent? And I mean, that is obviously a conversation we need to have. I get it. We all love this move. It was insane. It was incredible. It was blow your mind crazy. But at what extent? Why do that when you could have done something a lot more simple? Maybe that's a hot take, but in the case, the fact that Ross Chastain was able to do that, that is one of many stories from today's race, as well as the fact that Christopher Bell, two weeks in a row, finds himself a way to make it into the next round of the playoffs. Absolutely insane, the fact that he's been able to do that two weeks in a row. I mean, the win and you're in... Christopher Bell's taken in all of it. And when I saw him in the leaderboard, Pit Stops put him behind a little bit. Uh, Briscoe for a second looked like he might pull the absolute luckiest thing out of the world for him. He wasn't able to do it. But Christopher Bell, he had speed in that car. His car was fast. And all credit to him, he was able to hold off Ryan Blaney for a while, Kyle Larson at the end, and get the win. And lock himself into the next round of the playoffs. Um... That also brought this battle between Denny Hamlin, a guy that looked safe. Uh, well, not when a different guy wins. And, I mean, if anyone's proven that they can win a championship, it has been Christopher Bell. Throughout these playoffs, he's proven that he has the drive and the motivation to win. I think he can do it. I really do. We'll talk about the championship four coming up in a little while. But an incredible thing, really, out of that. Let's take a look at the finishing results. We just talked about Christopher Bell able to get that win for the second week in a row, lock himself into the next round of the playoffs, that round being the championship four round. Kyle Larson finished second in today's race. A uh, good run for him. Ryan Blaney gets eliminated from the playoffs. He finished third, but a good, decent, solid run for him. Chastain with that crazy run. I think he went up five, six spots. I think he was in like 10th. He finished fourth. Uh, Danny Hamlin in fifth. Joey Agano finished sixth. Will he be? Uh, gets a top 10. Bubba Wallace in 8th. Chase Briscoe in ninth. Chase Elliott advances to the next round of the playoffs in 10th. Harrison Burton with an awesome run today. Finishes 11th. Daniel Suarez in 12th. Todd Gillant, nice run in 13th. Cole Custer as well, a good run. in Eric Amarola in 15th. Let's take a look now. For the moment you've all been waiting for, your championship for Joey Logano is in the championship for Chase Elliott. Is in the championship four. Ross Chastain is in your championship four. And with last but certainly not least, Christopher Bell. These are the four drivers that will compete for a chance to win the NASCAR Cup Series championship next week. Early favorites, early conversations. Who are we talking about from this list early? Chase Elliott, I would think it would be the favorite. Joe Logano, maybe in that second spot. But let's not let these young drivers get away from us. I think we all thought Christopher Bell was a sleeper in these playoffs. He could win a championship, and what a story that would be. All right, hit the gas or hit the brakes. As I said, Martinsville in the spring was a disappointment. But in the fall, that was far from a disappointment. It's a hit the gas for me, and it is surely a A-minus race today. Racing all the time. The track really, really showed up today, and I'm very impressed by the racing. So that is that for me. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you thought about today's race. I will have, hopefully I can get another video out previewing the championship four. Have a good one.